Greetings again. This is Pastor Pleasant coming to you on day seven. Yes, I've already presented a video to you this morning on some beautiful rock that was laid on the back wall back there. I'm now on the front side of Gethsemane Threshing Floor Prayer Garden. I want to give you a little play by play. I just had a good friend of mine uh, to just drop me off one inch clean minus. I got two tons of that. Now, the, the purpose for that is to have a base for the concrete path that we're going to have uh, laid here. I'm expecting a concrete company to come out either today or Monday uh, to begin the process of laying the forms. Now, when I first presented this to the church, this vision, I had 15 spots that I had cut off of benches. I immediately uh, had to come out and cut three more because there were 18 pledges for benches for people um, to have their names on and their family's names on it. And then I end up having to cut out two more. And I just did that this morning, right over in this spot here, uh, right here. I actually put two extra benches over here. So we're going to be putting slabs over here. And then there will be two additional benches uh, because we sold two more of those benches. Now I'm out of room for benches. But I'm going to show you how to participate in this project right on that billboard there. We're going to put some uh, we're going to put some special up there and I'll be coming back and talk to you about that. Uh, just so you all know this. So we're going to have these slabs uh, poured all 20 of them. Uh, and then we'll be ready to have our benches set on here on on the uh, the paths that we are that we're going to be having poured. Um, but I'm just excited about this project. I'm excited because God has visioned us to have a place that will be a place of prayer, not just for our church, but for our community. See, this is a powerful outreach here. The, the community don't know this yet, but there's going to be a lot of great miracles and, and prayers put up from this place that's going to make a, 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 a difference for people when, when they uh, need to come to a place to have uh, some prayer. Uh, if you notice here, the trees, those burst trees, they're going to each get about 20 feet tall. They're going to spread out in a couple of years. The Lord delays is coming. Uh, so it's going to make it a beautiful shady area. And it's going to be awesome. That, that red acer maple right there, that's going to get about 30 feet tall. And it's just going to spread about 30 feet wide. So it's going to be a powerful umbrella over the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, we do have rose bushes here. I'm going to have some rose of Sharon put, brought in. we also going to have a, uh, a welding wall put up in this area back here. So we're looking forward to just uh, making this place a powerful place of prayer. I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but not too in depth. But in between our two buildings, about 15 feet back in there, I'm going to have a large stone place back there. It's going to be it's going to be a, a replica of where Jesus prayed his last prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, that's why we call in this place Gethsemane Threshing Floor. It's going to be a place where powerful prayers are going to be rendered. But we're going to have a nice scenic entry when you come in there. I'm going to have olive bushes and olive trees that's going to be planted back there. We can't grow them here, so I'm going to have to have some artificial ones. But it's going to be a real powerful place to visit. You'll be able to look at We can't all go over to Israel so, or Jerusalem, but uh, we'll be able to just kind of get an idea uh, of what it was for Jesus to go a little further that night when he prayed and sweat appeared as drops of blood. And when he was taking on that cup, that cup of our sins, a cup full of all the sins of the world, and Jesus drank that cup. Man, what a powerful Savior we serve. And so I am just honored that God is allowing us to build this place. Everybody may not understand this, but I understand what God is doing. I understand the powerful uh, the, 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 the powerful uh, reason of praying and how necessary it is for us to pray. Our world is in trouble. Our world is in trouble. But the Bible said the effects of fervent prayer of the righteous avail much. So I'm giving you a longer view today than what I have in the past because I want you to begin to take this vision in. 
You know, the Bible said without a vision, uh, the people will perish. So we're writing this vision today uh, by way of uh, uh, social media, and we're making it plain to you. We're going to have a powerful prayer garden, and then you won't be able to see it like this because we're going to have a privacy fence, a trellis fence right across the edge here, and you'll just be able to walk inside and just enter into the presence of God. Um, we're going to have music piped throughout this place. It is going to be powerful. Right now, you are capturing the ground roots of a vision that God has given us. It's going to come to fruition because we're not going to stop at New Life until this project is done. Now, those of you that are uh, audiences and those of you that are really hearing God when, I, when I'm speaking about this, you want to be a part of this, you'll be able to come and pray. We're going to have an inaugural day where we're going to dedicate this garden once everything is set. I don't know. We're going to we'll see what God has to say. Maybe three days of ongoing prayer. I don't know. Maybe 21 days, but we're going to dedicate this place back to God. It's going to be a place of powerful prayer. It's going to be a place where folk will be able to get delivered, where folk will be able to come and meet God. Amen. So this is Pastor Pleasant giving you a, a close-up look. Uh, again, the, the slabs are getting ready to be formed up. Next time you see a video, you should see either some box slabs out here with this one-inch clean minus in it, and then we'll come back when they finish pouring the concrete. So you'll see as we go step by step, into into a building a place where we can call the garden the Gethsemane threshing floor prayer garden this is Pleasant, pastor pleasant signing off love you all be blessed have a powerful day